everybody it's a little late in the morning it's actually closer to lunchtime but spent the morning in the office trying to use our farmers edge crop scouting tools and have a little bit of issues with it but we're getting there uh, George just called they're hauling grain out they were pulling grain out of the intermediates on a bin because the center of it was plugged up well everything broke loose and burnt the belts off because the unload auger broke or plugged up so now we're heading over there Another day on the farm. Remember how I said my air conditioner quit working last week? The next day it started working again, so I don't know if it froze up or what. Oh, you broke it. I tried. What it was is you just wanted to go get belts so you could go get lunch, didn't you? <laughs> well, my wife was driving by the farm and Dax seen that thing in the driveway and uh, he had to come check it out. He's pretty excited. What do you think of it, bub? Is it cool looking? Do a good ride in it? Now I'm pretty positive it's going to be tomorrow before Oxbow can come down and show us how to run this thing. So, which is fine because really there's not a whole lot of dry ground around here. Dad went and looked at some fields this morning and he was pretty surprised by how wet they are. I guess we'll just get a look at it today. As a backup camera? Yeah. I wonder if it's an ag cam. No, it's right there on the back. Shit. Yeah, just look at this thing. It's, it's aluminum booms, cool and all, and I'm sure it's highly functional. I just don't know how I'm gonna how, how I'm gonna mount a GoPro to it. Well, the kids had to go for a ride in the, in the sprayer. You look excited. Yeah. You not so much. You smile. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here we go. Ooh. A little touchy. Well, we got her up to 30. Leave the camera on for a little while. It does have a backup camera, but I don't think it's a uh, don't think it's ag cam. Seems like when you hit the stick, there's a lot of you gotta move it quite a ways before it actually starts to go. But I'm sure that'll change as the sprayer gets broken. Woo. And it's a little jumpy. Let's hop out. Everybody be careful. Watch your step, bro. Well, uh, Dad and George and Larry went to lunch. I found a more attractive lunch date and a better lunch crew. So, no George footage today. Maybe we'll get some of Kaylee. <laughs> Side dressing time. Those are the drop nozzles we use. We don't have the like the wide drops or anything like that. We just have regular drop nozzles. And then we put a piece of rubber hose on there. That way they can drag the ground pretty much behind the spur. Drag the ground through the corn and uh, seems to work pretty good. It's a lot cheaper than wide drops. One of these drop nozzles every other uh, every other nozzle so the ones we're not putting drops on we're just turning to the off position so that nothing comes out of them 
We use these drop nozzles because spraying it directly on the corn would burn it. Uh, it doesn't really hurt it too much. I mean, I suppose you could burn it too bad if you, if you did it a whole lot, but uh, once it rains, it'll usually bounce right back out of it. But uh, using these drops, we just minimize that the burn, I guess. So it's time to go feed some corn. We side dress corn. One thing we do to make sure we don't lose our nitrogen put this product in as a stabilizer, keeps it from leaching out. This is Nitrain, this is just a trade name for GPS or local products or whatever. Looks like we're trying some homemade wide drops. Again, I don't think it worked last time, did We never tried them because we used bigger, bigger corn. Down there, the others be in the ground. One thing we're not sure with these homemade uh, apparatuses we're making here, like the, the wide drops that cost so much money, they've got to have some kind of thing in the middle of them to deter or make sure they have an even flow or rate going through each Y, where we don't really. I mean, it's just kind of, we just have to see, like, the best we can eyeballing it. But if you are running wide drops, do, can you, what are they, what all is there to them? Like, do they have anything in there to do that? I would imagine they do. I mean, they should as much money as they cost. I guess I should warn you, the park brake sensor on the sprayer is acting up and sometimes it just beeps off all the time. It might go away eventually, but there it is. Looks like you've got the plant there. Well, that's the first plant and you always have trouble the first time. And you all thought the Pro 700 was annoying. There's no nozzle directly in front of the tire just because you'd be driving through it. So there is a nozzle behind the rear tires. So that's how you keep from driving through. I mean, you still get covered in 28 in the sprayer. I mean, as you can see, I'm dripping with 28. 28 is corrosive, so that's why this thing gets a bath very often. One of our homemade wide drops is working, and two of them, only one side of them is working. So. I don't know if one of them's plugged or if, like we said, there needs to be something in there to control the, the flow going through there. You're following the same tracks to get into the field a little ways? Is that what you're doing? You were in there. So there's his spray tracks where he sprayed post. He's trying to follow those just to make sure we run over as little corn as possible. We have 120 foot headlands and 100 foot booms. So right now we're not straddling any roads, we're just running across them. There's a long, they bounce up so bad. So there's, there's really no way around that. We're just gonna burn some corn right here. But I can promise you it will do better with that burn than it will if it doesn't get any nitrogen. So. Good news, we got the ding in the stop. Bad news is dad's holding his finger over top of the switch. So I don't think it's very permanent. Oh, there it is. Apparently it needs his hands to drive. I'm gonna fill her up, I'm putting on 30 gallons here, so he's only able to do about 48. We're put, we usually fill up about 1,200 gallons. So he's only able to do 40 acres. ones we planted. Uh, they're by far the tallest corn we have. So I have a whole lot else that's ready for uh, second shot nitrogen. We're probably going to go back and spray and burn down. In fact, we'll probably spray and burn down with that, uh, that oxygen sprayer tomorrow. But this is also the first bean plant field I planted. And uh, yeah, I just love planting fields for the first, uh, planting the first fields outside a big highway. That way everyone can see your spots that you messed up in. There's a few in this one, but it isn't too bad. This is the first field that that case, 
but the Pro 700 had me planning in reverse, so there's a few blank spots on that far end that I'm not too happy about. It's one of them deals where I could go fill them in, but I'd probably do more harm than good. I might walk out there with a hand spreader and just throw some beans on the ground just to fill it in to make me feel better. <laughs> Do you ever hear that? Yeah. Well, Dad finished his fields up. He's taking the sprayer back over to the sheds. His truck's over here, so I gotta get him a ride. I think we're gonna take that Oxbow sprayer over to the other farm, too, because it sounds like we're gonna get to use it tomorrow, and that's where the water and chemical is, so I'm gonna just take it over now. sign off video has been over for an hour but that is it for today um, like I said I think tomorrow we're gonna run that sprayer depending on weather there's like an 80% chance of rain at some point tomorrow and the guy from Oxbow said he can't be here till about 1 o'clock so hopefully we'll see that thing in action tomorrow but thanks for watching if you like what you've seen follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Videos and Facebook at Brown Farms and we'll see you in the next video Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you that the Oxbow sprayer is going to be here for a few days. So if you had any questions or anything you want me to answer for you while it's here and the company guy's here, just let me know in the comments and uh, we'll do the best to answer in the next video. Uh, yeah, let me know. Also, it's come to my attention that the, um, the website has not been accepting payments. So if you wanted to buy a hat or a shirt, you were unable to. So if you would like any of that kind of merchandise, check our Facebook page. Uh, Facebook page on the store icon, you can get it there.